Hi, Zach Dodson with this week's Friday Photo Tip. This is the second part in a series I'm doing about aspect ratio. So if you don't have like a great grasp for what that is yet, pause, go back to last week, check that one out first. If you saw last week's, this week I'm going to be talking more about print sizes. So how do you translate the shape of the image from your camera into prints? The main thing you need to know about how aspect ratio relates to prints is that if the ratio of your camera is different than the ratio of the paper that you're printing it on, uh, you're going to have to crop some of the image out to get it all to fit. Now that might not sound like a big deal, but if you're really working to create a certain image where you're using the whole frame and everything is right where you want it, it is a big deal because you're going to lose part of your image. Personally, all my cameras have a 3-2 aspect ratio, so I do what I can to always choose print sizes that reflect that aspect ratio. Uh, I'm very careful about what I include in the frame, and I don't want to lose any of it. So, for example, since 8x10 is such a common print size, and 8x12 is the same aspect ratio as my camera, that's two whole inches that I have to crop off of the sides of my photo to get it to fit on an 8x10. As I mentioned in the last video, 4-3 is a very common aspect ratio with phones, point and shoot cameras, um, some compact mirrorless cameras. And so what that means is you're getting a slightly more squarish image and there aren't as many readily available print sizes in that aspect ratio. You'd be looking at something like a 6x8 so what that means is if you're shooting in 4.3, a lot of times you're going to have to crop your image. So for example, a 4.3 image would translate to a 4.5 by 6 print. So to get a 4 by 6 print, you have to crop half an inch off the top of, or bottom of your image. So it's not a lot, but you're a lot more likely to have to crop images when you print them if you're shooting in 4.3. So when you're shooting, you might want to make sure you leave some space around the edges so you have room to crop. That gives you the broad strokes of how the aspect ratio of your camera affects the print sizes that you're choosing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below so I can answer for everybody to see. Try printing some stuff out, either at your printer at home or get it printed at your local print shop. They can usually do things same day or next day and take a picture of the print itself and share it on social media. Hashtag ZDP photo challenge. I'd love to see what you guys are printing and how it looks and um, yeah, how all that worked out. You know, if you had any experience with this video while you were making it, um, you know, leave it in your, in your caption. I'd love to find out more about it. Next week is about how aspect ratio affects what you're posting on social media. All these platforms have different aspect ratios and it can be a little confusing and so I'm going to help try to navigate that with you here. Thanks for stopping by. Keep it real.